Hi everyone, it's Melissa. Um, I just wanted to come on and share a, a short dream with you that I had last week and I kind of wanted to maybe get some of your opinions on, on what it means. Um, I did post it in my um, Dreams and Visions group on Facebook. Um, I have a Dream and Visions group, it's called End Time Dreams and Visions. I did get a, a few opinions, and I, I'm pretty sure I know what it means, but um, I felt like I should just come on and, and share it with you all. It's also a warning, and for all of you that um, that know me and follow me here on YouTube and also on Facebook, you know that I am a watchman, and God calls me to... Um, you know, warn people, and I'm I'm not the most popular um, person on Facebook or YouTube because I I do warn, I do share the visions that God gives me about about things that are soon to happen, and I also feel like the dream that I had last week is another uh, vision or or dream that. Um, is probably soon going to happen down the road. Um, some of my dreams, when I dream them, um, I've, I've seen them come to pass within a, a six-month period of time. So in regards to this dream, I just felt like it was something that I had to share. I'm, I'm not going to be very popular with a certain dream because it has it has something to do with Latinos and Blacks. I don't want you coming on here and saying, you know, you're racist or anything like that because I'm not. Um, I have many friends who are Latino and black and I love them to death. Um, so please just listen, um, have some discernment, take it to the Lord in prayer. And um, so I'm just going to go ahead and share it. Um, last week, I had this dream that um, I was, I had driven my car up into my driveway at home and I was met in the driveway by a very angry, uh, black woman. Now I, I don't know exactly what she said to me, but I, I just know that she did not like me. Um, anyway, the dream kind of then, uh, shifted a little bit and it went from her and to looking across the street uh, from my house. And we do have a park next door. It's, it's a huge like field. And I was looking at that and I saw thousands, I mean, thousands of people gathered here. And the majority, the majority of them were Latino and black people. And it was a very important gathering in the dream. But in the dream, I, I went to this, this gathering because it was, it was important. I knew it in my dream that it was something, you know, important. And as I was about ready to take my seat, um, the, 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 the Latinos and the blacks were pushing the, like me and other white people, um, way to the back, like the back two rows. And there wasn't that many um, whites that were even there at all. Well, then I was looking over to my right hand side and I saw a, a piano, a keyboard. And I saw Martin Luther King actually walked out and he sat down at the keyboard and he started to sing, um, you know, that, that John Lennon song, Imagine. And as he started singing, um, the blacks and Latinos were raising their hands like they were in worship and like they were, it was, it almost felt like it was um, church, you know, like when you go to church and, and the musician comes out and you're, you're just in worship and you have your hands raised to the Lord. Well, that's that's how the the the, the blacks and the Latinos were um, in my in my dream. But however, the last few rows had the, you know the Caucasian the white people, and all of us were just sitting there and just looking at all of this. So anyway, I just kind of wanted to read you the words uh, or the lyrics to Imagine. And it says, imagine there's no heaven. It's easy if you try. 
No hell below us, above us only sky. Imagine all the people living for today. Imagine there's no countries. It isn't hard to do. Nothing to kill or die for and no religion to. Imagine all the people living life in peace. You may say I'm a dreamer, but I'm not the only one. I hope someday you'll join us. And the world will be as one. Imagine no possessions. I wonder if you can. No need for greed or hunger. A brotherhood of man. Imagine all the people sharing all the world. You may say I'm a dreamer, but I'm not the only one. I hope someday you'll join us and the world will live as one. So in my dream, this is what Martin Luther King was singing, and he was basically leading, uh, you know, the blacks and Latinos in, in the song, and they were just in worship. And so to, to me, the, uh, that dream kind of represents something that is about ready to get to happen. Um, I don't know if it's politically, but something is going on where I just feel like um, I, I kind of feel and see socialism in this in this song. Um, one of my friends um, who is a watchman for the Lord um, on Facebook, you all may know him, Elijah, Elijah Milton Wilderman. Um, he said, Imagine is a very deceiving socialistic New World Order song. The Latinos are becoming the highest population now in the U.S. And he says there are a lot of uh, race and, and bigotry and things that are going on right now in the U.S. I mean, we see it on television. Um, you know, where, you know, a lot of uh, racial things have been happening on the news lately. Um, but we know that Obama is very popular with, with the ethnic groups. And that's what my friend Milton um, said. He goes, Melissa, they're very popular with, with the ethnic groups. Obama is. And he says he believes that they were brought in to divide, conquer, and, um, you know, just, you know, there's just a lot of scheming that is going on right now, um, you know, between our government and trying to even get race war started. Um, so I don't know. I just really felt like this dream was of importance. And like I said, it was a dream. Um, I usually sometimes when I get dreams like this, even though I'm seeing it, in my dream and it's more spiritual um, I feel like God shows me things but usually within a six month period of time or sooner um, from having a dream I see an escalation in in the natural so we need to be in prayer saints um, we need to be in prayer uh, for the Latinos the blacks the, the whites we need to discern what is going on, even what we watch on TV, what we watch on TV, sometimes I feel like there is a lot of things that are set up on there. There's there's false flags and we really need to ask God to give us his eyes to see and ears to hear. And we need to pray um, against um, the new world order, what's going on with them, what they're what they're doing with these certain ethnic groups. Um, and I just really felt like I needed to release this. So, uh, please continue to pray with me. Um, if you have any comments or what you think this might have meant, I mean, Martin Luther King and imagine I was born in 1973. So obviously it was way before my time. I, you know, I've heard the song before. I didn't know the words to the song. And I actually had called my mom and I was saying, you know, mom, I had Martin Luther King in my dream. And that was way before my time. And then I had this song Imagine, which was way before my time. And 
So it was just a really, really, really strange dream. But at the same time, I feel like there is a warning there. And we need to take heed to that warning. And we need to pray for what's coming because I really feel in my heart like the Latino and black, uh, you know, groups or the, the races that they're going to be duped by the new world order. I just don't know why I feel that way. But in the dream, I mean, there was such unity and happiness for uh, this gathering. And, and I was looking around me and just wondering, well, where are, where are the, all the, the white people? Why aren't they here? Why aren't they here for this, to watch this? So um, I bless you all today in Jesus' name. And I, I thank you for um, being here, for praying this thing out with me. Any comments, leave them for me. Okay? Okay. Have a great day, everyone. Bye-bye.